the next, uh, next to the stage I'd like to welcome Naraza Mohammed Noor. Naraz is from the ANU College of Asia and Pacific, and the title of her talk tonight is Challenging the Voyeur Gods of Urban Spaces. Let me tell you about a street in my hometown. Jalan Ampang is one of the oldest and longest streets in Kuala Lumpur. The part within the city centre is three kilometres long, and there are three distinct zones, which you can't see when you Google it. The part nearest to the central business district is busy during the day, but dies down after office hours. Further down, it's quiet, always quiet, because there's lots of abandoned buildings. At the farthest end, near the old town area, it's a bit more lively, especially at night. The way we inhabit our cities creates ambience that's invisible to maps. But, surprisingly, Kuala Lumpur residents don't see it either, because we move around the city in our cars. From a car, it just seems boring and constantly crowded. You might expect one group of people to be able to see this ambience, architects. But my research shows that they might be as blind as the rest of us. My research involves walking with architects and people of the city to understand how they see and experience the ambience. This is important because architects have a responsibility to the street. The street is for the people. But architects at like their building facade is where their responsibility ends. I think one reason for this is in their training, specifically how they are taught to draw and think. The architect's plan is a God's eye perspective, where people are mere decoration. I think architects should think more like anthropologists than voyeur gods. When I walk with architects, I watch how they move through space. I listen to how they describe their experience. To them, people are lateral disturbances <laughs> or soft elements. My research will help architects see themselves more clearly, but more importantly, this can help us make better cities. Architects educated more like anthropologists might pay more attention to how their building affects the street. No longer voyeur gods, they draw people into their plan, not as decoration, but as information. So, in the future, when I walk down Jalan Ampang, I might not feel sandwiched between concrete and traffic on a very narrow pavement. I might enjoy the street at night with those abandoned buildings lovingly rejuvenated by architects who see all the dimensions in the city. Thank you. <laughs> 